Well, I, I didn't just get out of the fall off the wagon. Is what I'm trying to say. You didn't just fall off a pumpkin truck. Got it. You got it. In fact, they had me picking the pumpkins. Uh -huh. Anyway, what I, I called you about, I, I just want to encourage you, brother, and you are my brother, pal. Let me tell you, you are my brother. This country, my God, I, I hope the people wake up. They've got to wake up. They're not going to be a country if they keep going the way they're going. This cannot stand. They put a man in, in the presidency. They can't even legally be the president. I don't even want to get on that subject. But uh, this is this is how bad we have slid backwards, and we're still sliding backwards. The, the things that you're giving them, thank God you're there, Alex. I could never talk. But you can talk, man. Give it to them <laughs> before we're actually shooting at each other. You know, at my age, I, I hate to think I'm going to have to drag a rifle off the, you know, the wall one of these days. But it could happen. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give into this. I've listened to you for years, man. I mean, way back there, and 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 going back to John Statmiller's first time I ever heard of you. That's oh yeah, John's still doing a good job with his show. Well, listen, I want to tell you something. We've got a project where when I hear iconic voices, we're gonna have them do voiceovers like Scottish John who's an awesome listener, and I've known him for about 15 years, running into him at pro-gun demonstrations. And we, and we pay Scott Sean for doing that ad, even though he didn't want money. Uh, your voice right over the phone, you could do some good ads and promos. So if you want to give us your name and number, I'm going to start this project so it's not just my voice all day with the ads or promos or even famous quotes of founders. I want to start including that on the nightly news every night. So maybe once a week you could record on a tape recorder. We sent you that and mail it back to us or if, if you're not technical. But uh, I'd like to uh, have you do some voiceovers because you've got an iconic, uh, sounds like a Texas accent. Are you from New Mexico or Texas? Born and raised in Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah. And all right. Well, listen. My family's all buried down there. Everybody, I've got a wife. We've been married for a lot of years. Yeah. And she's a school teacher. And... Um, like I said, I still, uh, I, I, the last job I was on that I've done, the uh, Jepson Flight Simulator, I'm the guy that did all the work for MDM on that. So guys that don't like that, they can blame me for it. <laughs> uh, I did all, of, literally all the flight work for uh, MDM, and then they sold it to Jepson, the, the program. They also did a twin-engine program, and I did that also. But I've, I've got... I've got, I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of hours flying airplanes. Well, that's amazing. Well, we want to talk to you again. Give us your name and number if you want to do some voiceovers for us, all right? Yeah, sure, anytime. Guys, guys, get his name and number right now, John Harmon. Thank you. D don't hang up. Uh, all right, that was a very interesting caller. What was his name again? Mark of New Mexico. Yeah, just hearing his voice at first, it was it was really interesting. Now, I feel sorry for folks having to hear my raspy voice all day, and half the time I'm gibbering and jabbering. That's why I don't like compliments is because this is such a big job and I can't even listen to my own show half the time when I hear rebroadcast. I mean, I sound like an obnoxious, you know, nutbag sometimes, but it's because I'm reporting on what's going on that is crazy, but I'm not crazy. The world is just weird. It's weird. And by the way, folks, if you want to do voiceovers for us, do audio clips and send them to say show tips at Infowars.com. Or maybe audio at InfoWars. Create that email. Audio at InfoWars. Or how about voice at InfoWars? That'll be the email. Voice at InfoWars. We'll create that email. And if you think you got a voice that we could use, uh, don't feel bad if we don't contact you. Uh, send an audio file there because, quite frankly, I'm sick of hearing my voice. We're looking at replacing pretty much most of the voiceovers uh, with uh, other people, not me. But I want original voices, not the classic radio voice of, hey, everybody, it's sunny outside. And I don't try to sound like a radio guy. I've got a blasted, blown-out voice. That's why it sounds like this. And half the time I'm so wound up, it's unlistenable. But I, it's very humbling to hear old guys like that having confidence in me. Uh, it, it, you know, I, I just know all these great people. I know, like, world ra ra uh, bull riding champions, and I know... Uh, you know, test pilots, and I know, you know, just amazing people who are big fans of this show. I know Chuck Yeager is a listener, but then his lawyers got a hold of him when he's about to come on and wouldn't let him come on, uh, which is wrong. Uh, I should be able to get Chuck Yeager on. We ended up getting contacted by his people. 
Uh, but then, you know, then his lawyer contacts us. Well, we don't think now's the time, blah, blah, blah. So it's just, I mean, I'm, I really, people go, Chuck Yeager, who's Chuck Yeager? The average person doesn't even know who Chuck Yeager is. And I think that shows why this country is so screwed up. That's a guy from West Virginia right there. I would interview Chuck Yeager just about like the 50-something Nazi airplanes he shot down, stuff like that. That's a guy like from my grandfather's generation, a living fossil who still jumps out of airplanes. I'm out of, you know what, let's just do the whole hour. I will shut up when we come back and go to Jeff and uh, let me see who else. Julian and a few others that have been holding the longest, but that's all I can get to is Jeff and Julian and maybe Crazy Horse. You got to go to Crazy Horse. But just today, Homeland Security visited uh, one of our auxiliary reporters, a fellow that's done some work for us, asking about me. And I'm proud of him. He said, you don't have a warrant. Get off my property. I'm not talking to you. I mean, this is, this is thought, thought control. This is Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2. Available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Final segment of Jam These Calls In, like I said, uh, the guys compiled 
a breakdown of the Oregon shooting. They did find someone else with a gun, but say it's unrelated. Who knows what that means? The mayor lodged the drill that occurred a couple months ago there, but then there's been no confirmation that drill did happen. Probably just gang related to people, uh, one bad guy, one other person shooting someone. But again, they just hype up this fetish when people, there's 317 million people. There's going to be stuff going on. And people get struck by lightning, people drowned. I mean, it goes on. Uh, let's go to phone calls here. Let's go to Jeff in Canada. Thanks for holding her on the air. Alex, uh, God bless InfoWars and, and the entire team we're praying for you and, and all your families. I, I can imagine what they must be going through. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was um, the Canadian government and how complicit they are and, and how in lockstep they are with this entire globalist agenda. Um, all the way back, going back to the 60s, involved in the MK Ultra program, uh, to and including, uh, you know, the uh, Afghan war in Afghanistan and the uh, opium war that they were waiting there for the Anglo-American Empire. But what I wanted to talk about was this uh, New Brunswick shooter and how I believe that there's uh, a good chance that this is completely staged. Within a few minutes of, of the shooting going on, they had somebody there taking photographs, like profile photographs of the shooter. Uh, you know, for yeah, no, uh, that's you know, always telltale that before connections were even found to me, uh, all the usual White House controlled suspects were saying Alex Jones Tea Party, and then voila, it was all there. Well, this guy in New Brunswick is, uh, you know, the, uh, the the Canadian patriot guy and the guns and libertarian and freedom, and and it happened exactly at the same time as this Las Vegas shooter, just right in lockstep shooting a couple of cops, you know, and he's a freedom guy, anarchist, blah, 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 whatever. And uh, I, I just think that these the, the, the Canadian government is completely complicit in this, and if people in Canada think that we're going to escape this, this civil war. You know, your brothers to the north are, 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 are pretty much involved. Oh, I know. They're arresting preachers that read anti-homosexual stuff out of the Bible in Canada. And again, I, I don't go to churches where they're bashing a bunch of people or whatever, but at the same time, it's free speech. And we're supposedly in the West here, ladies and gentlemen, and you got to support free speech. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go to Julian in Texas. Sorry, last caller I have time for to the others. I want to go to Crazy Horse, too. We'll see. Julian, go ahead. Very interesting. Go ahead, Julian. Okay, well, I guess we will go to Crazy Horse. It was meant to be. Crazy Horse in California. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Um, I don't want to go into details or specifics of... of names and everything, because I want to protect officers and their families, as well as myself. Um, you know, I haven't really spoken my lawyer for calling you, but... Sure, tell me what happened. I, nobody, you're anonymous and nobody knows. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Tell okay. me. I just want to tell you and your listeners that the sheriffs are being told, you know, all this propaganda. So, um... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. No, no, they're going out and taking Patriots' guns in a soft gun confiscation. And so they brought up, well, Patriots are killing people. we got to take your guns. Well, the, there was an issue that came up. We had a, a string of burglaries around my area. And uh, a car showed up on my neighbor's property. It looked like they were running from somebody. I know. Finish real quick because you say on the board okay. they took your gun. Yeah, basically they... The sheriff came, they took my gun, they never charged me. They, they yeah, no, that's because you're in California. Even Bloomberg reports the headline that gun confiscation has begun. Outside of law, just like Obama's open the borders. Great job of the crew. That's four Thank hours. Nightly news tonight, TV. seven. It'll all be boiled down. PrisonPlanet.tv. Become a member today. Stand with us against this evil.